everyone, my name is Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you the intro video for my project pan for 2019 and I want to talk about no buys a little bit and low buys and my take on them. So if you would like to see the products that I would like to use up this year, just keep watching. So when planning my project pan for this year, I wasn't really planning like the entire year. I just was planning on project products that I'm pretty close to using up or I would like to use up pretty soon if they're getting a little older or if they're products I use all the time and I would like to see how long it takes for me to use them up. I pretty much am always on a low buy these days. I really like to consider products and really study them and their ingredients before I buy anything these days. My one weakness will always be browsers, but because I'm allergic to anything with ethohexylpromatate in it, it eliminates a lot of the bronzers that are on the market. So when going for new products, you always want to look and see if you have anything existing in your collection. You say maybe like, oh, I have something that looks exactly like that, or oh, that looks like it's something that's in a palette that I have. I just, I feel like 2019 as a whole was just a year of people wanting to use up things they have before buying new products. So why does someone need 50 foundations? Why does someone need 50 blushes? Well, blushes I can understand because, you know, they do look different. But certain products that go bad quicker than others, like mascaras and foundations and concealers, these are things that you don't need a lot of because they go bad quickly. But powder products, they have a little bit more of a longer shelf life and things like that. So I'm going to take you into the products that I would like to use up this year. I still haven't decided if I'm going to do these updates like monthly or quarterly. Probably depends on my progress. I will be doing a rolling project pan, which means that if I feel as though I have something that I would like to incorporate in, I'll bring it in. Or if I'm getting tired of something, I'll take it out. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing, I really thought I would have this done by now, but this is my Charlotte Tilbury, what is this even called? The Airbrush Flawless Finishing Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. This is in the shade 2 Medium. You can see that I literally have like just the edges left. I've been having to use a much smaller brush to get that on my face. I don't want to repress this because this is such a delicate formula that I feel as though if I repress it, I will be changing the formula. I love this powder. I do already have a backup of it, which is why I would like to use up this one. And the sides are very thin, so I don't really think that I have a lot of time left with this. I'm not really making goals on any of these things. These are just things that I would like to use up throughout the year. Next we have my Smashbox Primer Water, which I have been using a good amount lately. You can see I made a little line on it. I have been using this a good amount lately, especially because in the winter my skin gets a lot drier and it just needs more hydration. So I do like this primer. I don't necessarily use it a lot during the summer months just because my skin doesn't is not as dry and I can get away with just using a moisturizing primer or like a moisturizer and then a primer. So I would like to use this up before summer. Another thing that I thought would be used up by now, this is my Wet n Wild, just the Brulee eyeshadow. This is what I used to set my eye primer. The pan is huge, but for a $1 eyeshadow, this really packs a punch and there's a lot of product in here. But I'm almost to the point where I wanna start using just like cream shades that are in my palette, so I would like to use this up. Let's talk foundations for a second. Surprise, surprise, I only own three foundations at the moment. Because like I said, liquid products, you don't really need a lot of concealers. I do have more concealers just because I have different shades, different ones with different coverages and things like that. But these are the two foundations that I wear most often. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 105. Now, you can't, because of the bottle, you can't really tell how much is in here, but it won't really shake anymore, which makes me think that there's not that much in here. And then this is my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade Medium 2 Santa Fe. I've been using this foundation since March, and I usually mix these together. And I did make a line on it. This is a 24-month foundation, but I would like to use up as much as I can of it soon and use it up as quickly as I can. I do love this foundation. This is a foundation that I would repurchase. I just think I would purchase it in medium one Punjab because it's a little bit more yellow and even though it's only medium one I think it's a little darker. Right now I'm actually wearing the NARS Sheer Glow foundation. I got a little sample of it and it's in medium one Punjab and I feel like the shade matches really good 
but NARS foundations are all different in all their different shades, so. That's another thing whenever you are in like a low buy or anything. I used to just buy things before I would try them. Skincare, foundations, things like that. That's what Sephora's sampling program is for. You are supposed to walk into any Sephora and pick out three products that you would like to try. Maybe like a new discovered love or something that you're not sure of. Nine times out of ten, foundations are $40, $50 that are high end. So it's really good to get a sample, see how it reacts with your skin, see if it oxidizes, see the coverage, see all this, see that. So that you can try that before you would be spending that $50 because I mean I know there are people out there who don't have Sephora's and Ulta's that close to them. So, so if you buy it and don't like it, you're kind of stuck with it. So preferably I would rather just try things before you buy them and you can be saving yourself some money. All right, let's keep going. I have four things left. This is my Becca Capri Co Sunlit Bronzer. I usually go through about two bronzers a year. So I mean bronzers are not something that's like surprise, surprise. I go through more bronzers than I go through like face powders and the stuff just because I love bronzer and I really, I love this bronzer. I am gonna swatch this for you guys. This is just like a beautiful, it's warm but not too warm and it's shimmery but not too shimmery. It just gives your skin life. And I will definitely miss this bronzer, but I find that the shade and the tone is similar to the, what I have in my Chloe palettes right now. But this is a beautiful bronzer. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend this bronzer, especially if you're around my skin tone, which is like NC30, 35, depending on the day. So this is my Maybelline Fit Me Fair Light Powder. I use this powder under my eyes and to bake like my contour and stuff. I just noticed that it had a lot of product when I got it in it. It's 0.7 ounces, especially for a drugstore powder or a loose powder. That's a lot of product. So I made lines on it to where it is right now so we can track the progress of that. Something that I just recently had to take the stopper out of, so it is on its last life. This is my NARS um, Pro Prime Eyeshadow Base. In order to avoid buying things more, especially with concealers, with eye primers like this, anything that has like a doe foot applicator, lip glosses, lipsticks, they have stoppers. You would be so surprised of how much product you can get out of these things if you take the stopper out. If I wouldn't have taken the stopper out, I would have been like, oh yeah, like that's empty. No, there's probably like two, three more months worth of product in here. And that's saving yourself some money from buying a new one. All right, and the last thing I have in here, I don't even know where this is to be honest, how much is left in here. This is my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. So the thing with this is it's like all bunching to the sides and I don't really know how much is in here because I would keep like scooping it down. I would like to have this used up because this is a pretty expensive primer. It has an expiration date of October 2019, so I do have some time on it, but I would just like to use it up. I just don't know how to really mark it. I tried like scooping everything to the bottom, that didn't work, and I tried tried a bunch of stuff, but it didn't work. Alrighty, everyone. So that's my thoughts on this whole low buy, no buy, and the products that I would like to use up in 2019. Like I said, this is a rolling project pan, so I'm going to be bringing other things in. I'm going to be taking things out. We'll see how it goes throughout the year. If you have any Project Pan YouTubers that you would like to suggest to me or if you would like to suggest your own channel down, down below, let me know. And if, what are you trying to use up this year? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you trying to use up something that you just don't like? Or are you trying to use up something that you use every day because you have a backup? Have a great day, everyone. And remember, he was kind, he was smart, he was important.